So this is how you go about setting up a adjustment on the spacing in your bullets. So let me show you this in InDesign. So if you didn't, if you manually typed in a dash, I would take that out. And what I would do instead is right here, if you highlight the text that you want to have bullets on, if you go to type, you go to bulleted and numbered list and do apply bullets. What that'll do is that'll put it here. The downside is the default spacing that almost every program uses is way too big. Look at how big of a gap there is between the dot and here. Google Docs, Google Slides, Word, all of them do this ridiculously large amount of space. So what you're gonna do instead, and this is kind of fights me sometimes, so let's see if it works this time. I'm gonna highlight this series of bullets and I'm gonna come up here to type and I'm gonna go to tabs. What this is gonna do is it's going to, should snap into place and it's showing me where the paragraph is starting or the line and where the bullets are starting. Now you would think you could just grab this little corner here, which you can, but then notice it's that little, um, what you call it, tab. That's gonna be your best option, is go ahead and just click in there, slide this around until it feels right. It's actually giving you an X adjustment, so like an X coordinate. So what you could do is, let's just say, let me create another box here, just as a way, because I know a lot of you have multiple bullets that are set up. So I'm just gonna put in some gibberish. I am going to apply bullets. I'm going to go to bullet list, apply bullets. And since I did a one pica adjustment here, what I can do is if I highlight these and I just click anywhere in here, notice the X coordinate is it's nine picas, seven points, or sorry, zero picas, seven points. You don't have to remember that. You can just type in the one P that automatically puts the same amount of distance. So that will save you a little bit of time when cleaning up the bullets and pulling those things back closer. Because man, that default, you could drive a car through those things. It's way too much.